Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Keely Allen and welcome to my 2021 rare plant wish list. It has been a pretty wild year for 2020, I'm sure we can all agree. I didn't spend my year how I thought I was going to and I'm sure that counts for pretty much everybody ever in the world. And as a result, I think because, you know, I had a really big project this year, I was essentially doing up this place. I didn't really get a chance to sit and really fawn over a lot of the house plans that I may have wanted to have this year. So as a result, my wish list is actually quite short. Let me count how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven plants on my wish list. Now, anyone that may have seen any wish list videos of mine before, I may have closer to 20 plants on that wish list. So what I think is going to happen this year is I'm probably going to go throughout the year. I'm going to start fawning over plants and I'm going to add to this wish list, right? Because I haven't had time. So I'm going to share with you my wish list today and maybe if a in say three to six months, if there's like a ton of stuff on the list that I haven't mentioned today, then I will do an updated video and mention my new plants on my wish list. Therefore, this video today may not be quite as long as previous videos. Obviously, there are less plants on it, but I have selected plants that I think really, really would look absolutely great in my collection. So I don't know how easy these are going to be to find before we kick off this list. Looking down, honestly, Two of these are easy to get, and I say easy in air quotes, literally. These are quite difficult to get. Again, if you're watching this in 2022 or at the end of 2021, I might say something and say it's hard to get. It might not be. I might say something is expensive. It may not be. Of course, it depends on where you are in the world as well. I'm in the UK recording this in nearly anyway. This is the 31st of December that I'm recording this video in 2020 when, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic and things are just not easy to get. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. And this is in no order. This is in the order I wrote them down. So you could argue these are the order that I knew about them. But when I look at this, that doesn't really, it doesn't really fall true. So the first plant on my wish list for 2021 is none other than the Philodendron Golden Dragon Variegated of course. I don't know if anybody's seen these. These are really coming into play now. I would say they were really, really starting to boom. And I think they have quite a high value attached to them. Everyone that knows me, that watches my channel knows that I don't love to mention prices because as I just mentioned earlier, they are so subjective. It's hard to provide you with a price. And if I do, it's probably only going to be valid for a certain amount of time and then it'll be way off. And then everyone's like, why are you listing this price? So as of recording this video, I'm pretty sure these plants are in mid treble digits quite easily. And I think that we're not talking for a full plant. We're talking like a one leaf cutting or two leaf cutting might be worth that much. That said, I feel like this is a great variegated plant, especially for me. The variegation, I think, is always white on these plants from what I've seen. And of course, you also get this amazing, typical golden dragon leaf shape as well. And I just think, I haven't seen many full plants of this, but the ones I've seen look, honestly, they just look so stunning. And I really think it's a striking plant. I don't think it would go out of fashion. I think even in two years time, it would still look amazing because some plants are kind of in and out and then we have our classics. I think this could be a really classic variegated plant. I don't know how many people have these. They are not being sold as full plants. I don't think that's even an option. I think cuttings are the way that people are going right now. I'm certainly on the lookout for a cutting. I don't have to have a full plant. Sometimes with these wish lists, sometimes I want a cutting of it. Sometimes I want a full plant. Sometimes it just has be a big specimen. I have different requirements for different plants sometimes because, for example, there is a plant on this list that I need a larger specimen of, and that's why I want it. I want a large specimen. But for this plant, I'm more than happy to take a cutting. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I'm kind of willing to pay the price tag at the minute. I am. I know. And I know that plant prices are ridiculous at the minute. Of course, I've spoke about this before, but I can't see the value of this one coming down very quickly because there don't seem to be very many of them. So for me, spending this amount of money, uh, you know, potentially say it was 500 English pounds. That's, I don't know, that's like $750 or something. To me, that's worth it personally, just because I feel like in order to get one, otherwise I'd be waiting a long time and I would love to grow the plant and get it really big and established. So for me, that would be worth it. That would be worth it right now. Don't get me wrong. There's other plants on this list that I do not think are worth their current price tag, so I wouldn't pay for them. But the Philodendron Golden Dragon Variegated is 100% a plant that I'm willing to pay that price tag on. Right, so the next plant on my list comes from a place of loving 
plants with white variegation, but it doesn't have to be permanent. Um, I think this plant, I, I haven't done enough researching on this plant, but I think this plant does have permanent white variegation, not in the way that you'd expect. I don't think anyone wouldn't expect me to want this plant. I think this totally falls into the kind of plants that I love. But the next plant on my list is none other than the Philodendron Mottled Whipple Way. It could also be known as the Philodendron Whipple Way. I'm not actually sure which one it is, but from the pictures I've seen, this plant looks so special because the leaves come in really white and frosty, but I think they kind of stay that way. And I think the plant can sustain itself looking overall quite white. And I think that's highly unusual for a plant for obvious reasons. I think they might fade down to a mint. I hate that word. But you know what I mean? Like a light, a very light frosted green. I think they might fade down to that. I really need to see more pictures. No doubt by the time I edit this video, I've seen loads of pictures and I know the answer to that question. But for me, it looks to be a really nice plant. Now, in terms of getting a hold of this plant, it's more or less impossible right now. I think finding a variegated golden dragon, for example, the last plant I just mentioned, I'm pretty sure that finding one of those is actually easier than finding this. Of course, I'll say this and then loads of them will pop up. But as from what I know of recording this video now, it's so hard to get a mottled whipple way or a whippled way. It would be a cutting and it will be small. I believe, and again, I could be very wrong on this, I believe they're more prolific in the US than what they are in the EU or the UK. I'm not sure. I do not see them. I've seen one or two passed around on Facebook, but generally speaking, I don't really see them. I feel like I'm going to be waiting a long time for one of those. I do think it's not a dupe, but if you are looking for this plant, I do own a couple of philodendron snowdrifts, and I feel like that gives you kind of the vibes of a, a, a whipple way. I mean, it's a different plant. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't really look the same, but it has some of the hallmarks that you'd want from that plant. So I feel like if a whipple way is totally just not going to happen for you, maybe try looking for a snowdrift because I know they're a lot cheaper and a lot more available. They're not highly available because of obviously the situation we're in, but they're a lot more available than the away. But that said, I think it's such a sexy plant. It might not be for everyone. I get that. But for me, it's something I really want. I love leaves like this that come in a really light color and fade down or they just stay light in this possible case. Anyway, I love the Florida ghost. Everyone knows I always talk about the Florida ghost. I love the snowdrift as well. I love what other plants do this. There's not many plants that do do this. And I think that's why I love it so much. So that is why I'm adding the philodendron mottled whipple way or the philodendron whippled way to my list. And I don't think I'm going to find it anytime soon. So I know I say that a lot, but really, I don't think I'm going to find that at all. Ooh, the next plant I have on my list is also philodendron. There's a pattern here, but I've, I've wanted this for a long time. It wasn't really high up on my wish list. I just think I've gotten a lot of the other plants that I've seen it previously and I've wanted. Like for example, the philodendron eelmanii, great plant, but I still haven't really been able to find this plant. So it's, it's it hasn't really made it into my wish list because I wasn't actively looking for it, but I feel like now is the time to. But anyway, that plant is the philodendron polypoidioides. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's not for everyone. I always like to say it's a little bit like if Tim Burton made a philodendron pedatum or something similar. It's just like a really skeletal form of that. So I feel like if you owned a philodendron pedatum, you might either feel the need to add this one or not feel that the need to add this one, depending on how obsessed you are with philodendron pedatum. I think it could go either way. I really love it and I think it's awesome. What I do not think is awesome, and I mentioned this earlier, is the current price. I know that when I kind of wanted one of these, but I wasn't actively searching for one of these, these were maybe in the low, low to mid at most three digit range. They are not anymore. Everything I've seen of this plant is for sale right now for, I think it's late three digits, early four digits. And I don't mean a full plant, obviously I mean a cutting, so maybe like two leaf cutting or something like that. That is a little bit insane. I find that a little bit insane because I know the price that they were. And I know this is just something that everyone barks on about. This is just the situation we're in. But that just irritates me a little bit too much to pay for at the current price. Like, I'm quite happy to wait. And that's probably because it wasn't high on a wish list previously. It was a little bit lower down. So for me, I'm not going to pay those prices. If I see people asking those prices, I'm not interested. Do you know what I mean? I, I think we can just wait for that one. It's not common. It definitely seems to be on the rarer side, but I just don't think it's worth as much as maybe, maybe for example, a Whipple Way. I don't think it is. I think it's an equally unique plant, but for me personally, it's not worth that. So I'm probably going to wait for that one, even though it's on my wish list. It's still not a very strong contender on this wish list. It's just something that I kind of want to add. 
It is getting dark in here again. This always happens because I'm filming in winter and honestly, it is now half past one in the afternoon and it's this dark in here. And I have lights on. This is no good. This is no good at all. So moving on, I, this plan might have been on my wish list last year. I think it might be, you know, it might have been. I'd have to check, but this next plant, I want it, but I'm probably going to gloss over it really quickly because it's not super, super high on my list or anything, but I really, really want a large specimen of it. And that is the Philodendron Esmeraldensi. I really love this plant. I think it's great. I don't see many people with full-size specimens either. I don't actually see many people owning smaller specimens. I don't think it's a plant that's passed around very often. From what I remember, it wasn't the easiest plant in the world to keep. Maybe that's why I don't know, but I don't really see it in collections. I really don't. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. Of course it does, but I don't typically see it on Instagram. I don't see it on Facebook. I don't really see anyone fawning over it. For me, it's always been something I've wanted. I remember when I started the shop, I had a couple of really large Esmeraldensi in and I really wanted at the time, I remember before my first launch, I really, really wanted to keep one for myself and I didn't, and I regret that more than you'll ever know. Um, such a shame, to be honest. So for that reason, this plant is on my wish list. Again, it's not super high up, it is a little bit lower down, but it is one that I'm really, 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 really wanting, and I do want to grow it up a pole and get it big and sexy, or maybe put one on the living wall, but it's just not super high priority. Not as high priority as, say, a golden dragon variegated. That's really quite far up there. But it is a one that I really, really want. I'm just, it's on my wish list, but again, it's just not priority at all. So the last philodendron I have on my list, I may have had this last year. Again, I haven't watched my old video from last year, I'd have to check, but I think this might have been on there. This is the philodendron linamii. I think that's how you pronounce it. Everyone knows I butcher names on this channel. I'm really sorry, it's just not my forte pronouncing plant names, but that's what it is. It is beautiful heart-shaped philodendron. I can't remember if there's anything else special about it other than the new leaves come in really ready pink, and they actually stay that way for quite a long time. I think that's the only special thing about it. I know that they're highly coveted and they are not often seen at all. They have a huge price tag on them. We're talking, I think, high trebles, quite honestly, for these plants. They are not cheap at all. I haven't seen many photographs of these plants because people don't own them. This isn't a plant that's often seen in philodendron collections. Again, I'm saying this from my experience and my experience is somewhat limited, but I don't see them very often. I haven't seen anyone selling it. I haven't seen anyone selling cuttings of it. I haven't seen any auctions for it. I don't see this plant. So as much as I would love it, I don't think it's going to be one that I cross off. And I know I've said this before about plants that are probably far more rare, but I really don't think I'm going to bump into this one. If it was on my list last year, it's on again this year and we'll see if we can get hold of it somehow. But I really like this plant. And I do think a lot of people will not care about this plant. Maybe that's why it isn't passed around. Maybe that's why it isn't sold. Maybe that's why it's not in collections. I'm not sure, but I really, really like it and I would love to add it. But this next one is not a philodendron. This one is a syngonium and it's a syngonium that I've picked out for me because I think it's one of the prettiest. Yes, I know you'll get a video on syngonium soon. Honestly, you really will. But the next plant on my rare plant wish list is the syngonium red spot tricolor. This is absolutely great to me. If you don't know what it is, it's essentially got pinky variegation in splashes and it has white variegation in splashes all over the same plant. And I love syngonium anyway. I grow these in the shop and they honestly, it doesn't matter what type of syngonium I get through my door. They grow so well. They propagate so well. They plump back up after shipping, even though they're a floppy mess when they come in. They are just fantastic. And I challenge anyone to tell me differently. They're just a fantastic plant if you want to get into rare plants, so to speak, and you want to get, learn to propagate and, and sell or whatever you want to do. Start with a syngonium because they're just fantastic and they will not let you down. You can have them small. You can have them vine and trail. You can grow them up. They just look fantastic. They really, really do. So for me, the red spot tricolor is one of the prettiest syngonium I've found. I do have some pink splash. I did acquire some shortly before Christmas. It's not the finest looking specimen, so I'm going to wait before I show you it on a haul because it, it really did take a beating on its way to me. I found that, but I think the only upgrade you could ever get from a, a splash would be the red spot. And for me, this is a really pretty plant. I'm not really seeing them on anybody's supplier lists or anything like that. Generally, I do see them on eBay sometimes. I see them a little bit on Facebook. I do see everyone asking for the red spot tricolor as well. It definitely seems to be one that's in high demand. So I don't imagine that the price is going to come down. Despite them being arguably easy to propagate, I don't think the price is going to come down. So for me, I would pay low trebles 
I think for one, I don't think I'd pay mid trebles. I just, this is going to sound not favorable towards Syngonium. I cannot imagine paying towards mid trebles for a Syngonium. I think I'd prefer to pay low trebles for that. So for me, I'm going to wait for that one. But I think when I do get it, it's going to go grow behind me and it's just going to look amazing. So I'm excited for it, but it's, it's not something that I'm going to skip the wait and pay the price tag for. So the last plant on my rare plant wish list, as of right now anyway, before I start adding to this like a mad person over the next year, the last plant on my rare plant wish list is a Hoya. And I've seen many different Hoya. I don't know how many Hoya I actually own. I'm looking at quite a lot now above me that I don't know if people have seen. Case in point, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example right now. You probably have seen this, but you probably haven't seen it in all of its glory. This is Hoya, is it Dekii? Dekii? It's growing a lot. I don't know if you can see that mini haul in the middle of the video. So for example, I own a lot of things that people may not necessarily know about. But anyway, so this hire I've been really, really looking at. I think a hire person actually told me about this hire. That is the hire silver dollar. I think that's what it's known as. And I don't have any pictures with me right now. But from what I remember, the leaves are, I think they're quite oval. I think they're a little bit pointed. But the, the color, the color is just so interesting. It looks like on a lot of shots, it's silver, but it's almost like, from what I remember, it's almost iridescent. I'm hesitant to say that without a photograph next to me to confirm it, but it's kind of iridescent. I don't know anything about it. I know that it's quite difficult to get. I think it's, it's not even low troubles. I think it's mid troubles. I think something like 500, maybe more. And it's hard to guess these things when you don't see them sold. I don't think I want it at that price. Even though it looks beautiful, I don't think I want it at that price. If it is mid trebles, I don't want it at that price. I want to wait until it's low to mid, I think. So somewhere in between the two. So I'm not desperate. And a lot of the plants on this list I'm not desperate for. And I think that's why they're on the list, to be honest. And I think, to be honest, if we, if, if we weren't in the situation that we're in, I wouldn't be saying half of these things. A lot of the barriers to me really wanting these plants this year are the prices. And I don't think I'll be the first person to make a wish list video and say that. I do think that's something that a lot of people will be saying about their wish list, like, yes, I want it, but no to the price. So sorry if I sound like a broken record. So that concludes my rare plant wish list for 2021. I think this year is just going to be different. I want to take more time to relax this year and not work as hard. So I think that I will be able to look at more Instagram feeds and find more things that I like because I just haven't had the chance this year. So hopefully I will be able to add to this list because I'd love to add to this list because it's just kind of, it's just kind of a nice thing when you're owning plants and you have a plant collection. I think it's just nice to keep track of things that you like, things that you want. And it, it sometimes it helps add perspective, at least for me, when you do look at things and you think, right, this is cool, but I don't like the price. It really, really helps. So for me, it's nice to have things to look towards at a later date. It's nice to have this kind of prioritization, I would call it, of, of things that you want and things that you could maybe wait for. It's just nice. Plus you get to learn to wait. And I think that's really, really good. I think that's a really, really valuable thing to, to have when you own plants like this. I think everyone could always use the ability to wait a little bit more and be a little bit more patient. I know I could. I'm probably worse than anybody. Don't get me wrong. So I think it's kind of nice that I'm just going to sit and chill, find things that I really, really like and wait for them, essentially. In most cases, I'm going to wait for them. I also 100% want to take more time to relax this year. I didn't do it last year. I feel really tired all the time, despite resting a little bit. So for me, this is all going to be about chilling out and just being very chilled with my plant collection, I think. I started to slow down towards the end of last year, but I think this year I'm really gonna take it at my own pace. But let me know what you guys are thinking about collections in this current climate, because we've we've never really had a chat about it, I don't think, past the negative aspects of it. So if you have a plan with what you're doing with your collection in these times, I would love to hear it. I would love to hear what your approach is to buying plants at the minute, or you know, in the future of this year, because no one's buying plants right now. But it'd be cool to hear what your point of view is on it. For me, there's things I want, I'm happy to wait. And I'm sure that's not an opinion that is irregular right now. But if you have an opinion, let me know because I'd really love to hear what you're thinking. I would also love to hear what is on your wish list because I'm a very lazy person and I would love nothing more than to steal plants from your wish list and add them to my own wish list if it's something that I like and I've forgotten about because that is highly likely. So if you want to share your wish list below, feel free to do that. I would love to take a read in the comments. And as usual, if you like this video, please leave a like down below. And if there's any content that you wish to see from me, please leave a suggestion down below and I will be sure to take a look. That is it for me guys. I don't know what my next video is as of recording this. I know I have a, some stuff that's going to happen over the next couple of days and it might leave me a little bit unable to film. Uh, you'll find out what that is. Don't worry. It's, it's nothing 
serious. I think some people on my Instagram already know what that is, but I'm, I'm undergoing a thing in the next few days and I just hope I can film. If I can't film, I'll let you know, uh, or a video will come out later. I will explain everything in time on my second channel, don't worry, but yeah. So I will see you next week. Happy New Year. I hope you have a great one. If you'd like to see me do a video on any New Year's resolutions or anything like that, I would love to do one. It will just be a bit talky though, so I don't know how you feel about that. Happy New Year. Have a great week. I will hopefully see you next week at the regular time. And that's it. Bye, guys.